is a long way behind Craig Lowndes. He'd want to be a lot closer. Here's the Bridgestone profile on the young guy, the current Australian Formula 4 champion. He won't be after today. That title uh, up for grabs here as well. Adam Macro looking for good for that. Candace stepped up into the V8 ranks. He's had just six starts, just started six rounds. He's done very well this year so far. Look at that top 10 order, Lowndes. Now he is the fastest man on the track. He just did a 1.08. Pulled out a very, very quick one when everyone else is running in the 1.09 second bracket. So plenty of speed aboard the Mobile One Commodore. He's doing this easily. 0.7 of a second. The lead over his teammate, Mark Scope. And I have no doubt at all Mark Scope playing a rear gunner action for Lowndes. He's not going to challenge him for position. He's going to sit in there race with him. Well, yeah, why wouldn't he? The 24-year-old Craig Lowndes leads the way quite comfortably. We've got just four laps left to run. This is the perfect start. He's got pole position. He's been able to keep it out in front. Nice, clean air, clean track and do it the way he wants. As for Russell Lingle, he's had to do it a lot harder. He's had to fight. He picked up two positions, three positions after the safety car went off. From ninth up to six. And that's the best that he can do. I'd say positions are going to remain the same unless something drastic happens. Yeah, I think he's going to have to just worry about his hand. He's forgotten about his seat. He's just dropping back from seat. And uh, just uh, keep covered from uh, his hand. Losing the pace of time. Three laps remaining. And Russell Lingle will pursue with the triple elementary on the number eight Castro Commodore. Let's see if we can do a lap with our pursuer, Russell Lingle. Or the Castrol VT. especially at Hidden Valley in race two when he came from 13th to first. And uh, there's no doubt about that he's trying to do it today. He's trying to do it in this opening race, but he just can't. Sitting there in sixth, and that's where he's going to stay. He'll have to be happy with that. That's no Cromson doubt. behind him now, not Sir Tander. Crompton's yeah, Crompton's taken Tander. So a little change toward the rear of the top ten. Eagles trying. There's no doubt this man will be squeezing maximum potential from this car. Credit Falcon, triple one car of Neil Crompton, closing in. So you can see Eagles just hanging on. Not enough speed aboard the car, but they'll go away and they'll work very hard on it between heats one and two. Try and make some adjustments to the chassis to try and maximise the car's performance for heat two. Synchrone Proto onboard camera shows he's copying plenty of heat from Neil Crompton. The TV doesn't really show up, but this track, uh, I mean, it, it's quite an undulating circuit here. There's quite a steep downhill section around. This is the far bottom part of the section. They come back up. They go through a very fast change of direction here and then down onto the main straight. Craig Lowndes. It's going to be a very special day already. That's the way it looks. We've got one more lap left to run. Now, yesterday he brought up Holden's 100th pole position. It was a very significant moment for Holden and for Lowndes because it was his very first pole position here at Oran Park and he has never won a V8 supercar race here. So he is going to do that in just three quarters of a lap. So plenty of milestones for the 24-year-old Melburnian. It's been a good year for Holden's too. Debut of the new VT Commodore and uh, Russell Ingalls' victory at Hidden Valley was their 100th. 100th win. Round win, yeah. yeah. So they've had a tremendous run with this new VT Commodore. It's obviously got enormous potential for the future. Ford will be uh, waiting with bated breath for the debut of its new AU Falcon early next year. There's a huge crowd here. Plenty of uh, Ingle fans, plenty of Lowndes fans, and I'm sure there's plenty at home as well. But uh, the Mobile One HRT gun has struck the opening blow. No doubt about that. Craig Lowndes is less than half a lap from home. Up through this change of direction I was telling you about the dog leg. Down this very steep hill. This is the final corner out of Recaro's speed line. It's the run to home for Craig Lowndes and he stretches the lead over Russell Engel. He takes out race one here at Oran Park for an HRT 1-2. His teammate Mark Scape in for a great second spot. And Jason Bright in the Pertec Ford end up getting there for third. A really good effort there. Lowndes be some relief inside that helmet for 
for sure. Yesterday it was a very anxious time before qualifying. Uh, placing so much importance on that. He gives a thumbs up and a bit of a wave to his teammate Mark Scaife. And, uh, well, there's the man that has it all to do with just two races left in this year's Shell V8 Supercar Championship. Russell Ingle, can he do it? It's still not out of the question. We saw how drastically things turned around at Hidden Valley in Darwin. It is not over yet, but I tell you what, it's certainly looking good for this guy. Craig Lowndes, he's only ever driven in one other Shell V8 Supercar Championship. That was in 1996, he won it. This is his second season, and he is just two races away from taking out his second. Mark Scaife will be uh, extremely satisfied with that second spot because that helps him big time in the points department with his personal battle, I guess you could say, for third with Larry Perkins. Perkins had some bad luck there. We saw quite a few cars come into the pits. Dick Johnson, John Bow, Larry Perkins, Alan Jones had a, uh, a visit to pits as well. As we ride with Craig Lowndes, the new VT Mobile One HRT Commodore, coming into pit lane should see him make his way down to his pits and you'll see the car swamped by the HRT mechanics. The behind the scenes people who work so hard to get these cars in top shape and they work extremely hard, so much so at Hidden Valley, one of their guys, he collapsed with heat exhaustion, working so hard. There they are, some Bridgestone engineers, tyre engineers and the rest of the team, Craig Lowndes. He opens the day in the best possible way with a win from his teammate Mark Scaife. Jason Bright, a steady third spot. Tony Longhurst in for fourth ahead of Glenn Seaton. Ingle, Crompton, Tander, Larkham and Barguana. They're your top ten.